Welcome to APR Supplies Tech Tips for the Pros. Today we're going to discuss static pressure diagnostics for duct systems. To properly diagnose a duct problem, you're going to need a manometer with static pressure tips and the manufacturer's airflow charts. Now we're ready to use static pressure for diagnostic purposes. So we need a start point and with our furnace, with everything running correctly, we have a 0.68 static. That equates on the manufacturer's chart, we'll use the 0.7 line, the closest line, and equates to an airflow of 790 CFM. So our first demonstration here is to shut off the fan and we're going to insert just a piece of cardboard in to block off a large portion of the filter. As we block that off, that's the same in uh, static pressure diagnostics as if we had a blocked filter or we could have a blocked return air duct anywhere in the system. So when the fan comes back on, we'll see what that uh, blockage has done to our static pressure. At 1.23 inches, that's far above Heil's recommendation for this furnace. So what it has done is increased the static pressure beyond the chart, so we have no idea what our airflow is. The static pressure is so high that we can't determine airflow and we know that it's well below the recommended airflow for this system. Start again, and we're going to move our static pressure probe from the return, and we're going to put it into the supply duct up above the coil. This is going to show us pressure drop across the coil. This can be very helpful if you know what the manufacturer states that the pressure drop is across a coil, it can be used to at least understand airflow. It's not a great airflow measuring device, but it'll show you how much pressure drop is across the coil. If you make this measurement at startup, it gives you a benchmark so that you can come back and tell if your coil is dirty. Using the manufacturer's chart, we can see that at 0.09 inches on a wet coil, our airflow is in the 500 CFM range. In cooling, the coil will be wet. In heating, it will be dry. 500 CFM is well below the 700 to 800 CFM required for the system. Remember that we are still simulating a system running with a restricted filter or restricted return duct. This low airflow will cause the system to run with low capacity. It can also cause the coil to freeze. Using static pressure as a diagnostic tool can be very helpful in locating airflow problems in an HVAC system. Thank you for watching APR's Tech Tips for the Pros. Hope to see you again soon.